Okay, that was rough. Getting through that. These are these guys are beasts. They're big. We're on a normal collar. We had to just get through that. This is TJ and Lance. They're Ridgebacks. I'm gonna walk them for you. I haven't done a walking video in a long time and I haven't done two dogs walking in a long time, two big dogs. So you guys are gonna learn about two dogs walking. I'm gonna talk you through it. We have walked these dogs. I, however, have not walked both these dogs on a normal walk. They got here a few days ago. So you're gonna see it live like you always do and I'm gonna talk you through it. You guys, you wanna walk two dogs? You wanna walk one dog? You wanna walk a big dog, young dog? These guys are nine months old. You need to follow the advice that I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? I have their gentle leaders. I hope to not use them. I hope to not need them. There's the occasional walk that I need it and you're gonna need it, but we, you guys and me and everybody, we wanna walk on a normal collar. We don't wanna use a prong. We don't wanna use a gentle leader. Sometimes gentle leaders are necessary. I'm gonna talk you through everything I do. You guys have to follow this, okay? You guys subscribe to this channel because you love this method. There's other reasons. You like the dog uh, uh, playing or how to stop fights. You guys like the doorway method, but the loose leash walking method is one of the bigger reasons that people subscribe to this channel. Okay, Lance is blue. Come here, or don't. TJ, all right, what do you guys do when the leashes first go on? Does your walk start when the leash goes on in your house or does the walk start when you get out on the sidewalk. It starts right now. It has to start right now. How are these guys, look at these two dudes. They're 90 pounds a piece. How are these two dogs gonna handle the world out there if they cannot handle, or if they cannot, if they're just leaving you to go to your front door? You guys, you can't skip this step. I get Instagram messages and commented, comments and Facebook messages all the time from you guys saying your loose leash walking method changed our life. So I'm gonna drill down on it. I got two big dogs and I'm gonna explain it. They can't leave you in your house. I'll say it again, they can't leave you in your house. You stand there in your house and they go, I'm going to the door because that's what we do and you go, no we're not, and you stand there. Or you give a correction and you walk the other way, even more powerful. Then you walk towards the door and they go, I'm leaving you to go to the door and you go pop. No, you're not, down into the side, correction. It's not a correction here, it's a correction here, and then you're already walking the other way. Then when you get that door, you do my doorway method. I'm gonna do this for you, but I have to talk to you about it, because you guys need things explained over and over again. He's going to see Carly, he's on a leash. There's no going to see Carly. Now, are these guys need to be perfect right now? No, and they're far from perfect, just like your dog's far from perfect, because that's what you guys asked me for. You guys don't want perfect dogs. Can he chew on his leash? No, he cannot chew on his leash. None of this is, we're not, we're not doing any of this. There is a leash on them. That means something. It needs to mean something to your dog. You don't chew on it. You don't leave mom. Do they need to be perfect? No, of course not. Nine month old dogs are never gonna be perfect. Your dogs, never, no dogs are ever, no kids are ever perfect. Nothing's perfect in life. But we need to establish certain criteria. The main criteria is you don't leave me. And if you do, I don't care the situation, whether it's PetSmart, whether it's on a walk, whether it's your living room, when this thing is on, you don't leave me and you don't pull. But they can't be pulling. Once they're pulling, you're already lost. They're leaving you on a loose leash, stop and pop. You can't wait for the pull. Okay, I like to walk dogs on the side of me, okay? On one side of me, that's how I do it. I don't wanna sit there and walk like this, okay? That's how I do it. Okay, come on, get to your front door, sit. This guy's saying, yeah, but I don't wanna sit, I wanna smell your leg. I don't care what you wanna do. Oh, you were being a good boy. Lance, sit. Good, are these like fast, the fastest dogs in the world? They're like, oh my God, I'll listen. No, they're brothers, they're, stay. Now here's the doorway, sit. He was, he's whining for some weird reason. So I'm not just gonna be like hardcore, like this guy whined when he was right here for some reason, I don't know why. Sit. 
Am I gonna sit here and repeat myself 10 times? Sit. No. I'm showing you guys this before these dogs have been trained perfectly. That's the goal. That's what this channel's about. Stay. We don't, we haven't trained a perfect sit with them, but we need to, you need to walk your dog before a perfect sit's trained. Stay. Okay. Oh, they're good. That's all we need. Now we can eat, we don't even need to do another sit. Let's go, Curly. On my same side, are they with me? Yeah, they're with me. That's okay, you can leave that. Are they leaving me? This one was, he got corrected. Am I gonna give them verbal cues, heal? No, I don't care. I want them not to leave me. Okay, keep this one here. Look, check in. Yeah, this guy's like the, this dude's being awesome. He's being such a good boy. Oh my God, what a good boy. By the way, guys, I get commenters sometimes they are like, why didn't you praise the dog? That's why I don't always praise the dog. Did you see me? I was like, oh my God, you're being so good because he was hanging back and then he said, I'm gonna pull. You don't, if you wanna give treats, that's fine. If you wanna say good boy, that's fine. Don't get into like, like I'm gonna pet you and, and uh, tell you how awesome you are because they get full of themselves and then they pull. If you're doing a down stay, you wanna be like, oh my God, good job and have them stay down. They're not gonna stay down. They're gonna get up. Ready? They're being great. Same side, good walkers. That does not mean you don't stop. They are called proactive stops because we are gonna see some dogs out there. He was not with me. He seemed to be with me because he's right here, but he was not with me. That's what you guys gotta learn. Is he with me now? Let's see. Now he's with me. Is he perfect? No, he's three feet in front of me. Doesn't matter. You know, we don't need perfection from nine month old dogs. We don't need perfection from three year old children or 18 year old children, but we need a certain criteria. And there it is. Now, if they see a dog, they're tamped down. Now, if they get distracted, they're tamped down. They're not gonna be what they were if I let them pull me out of that room or pull, pull you out of your house. It's all about tamping your dog down. Do they need to be perfect? No. But this is what you want. This is what you need. Okay. No verbal cues. We can put that to it later if we want. I'm going to release them to go pee. You guys asked me about that too. When do you release your dog? Keep them on the same side. Proactive stop. Now the street opened up to a different type of street. When you take that left out of your house and then you take a right, it opens up to a different world. The dogs then leave you. Lance is the, good. Then he was with me. What's criteria to continue the walk again? One, they have to stop. Two, he was looking at me. You don't have to get the look. Now from those stops, Lance, ooh. Within criteria, I gotta remember they're nine months. Their brain is not all there. Nine month old dogs in the fear period, you gotta just be a little patient. Look how good these dudes are. Oh, they're the best boys. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, but he's with me. Oh, these guys are a load. Come on, come on, come on. You're being so good. Look at this. Now I'm chill, I'm walking. We're gonna let him pee. Come on, come on. Ridgebacks, they don't like the water and it's raining. But life's tough, life's tough. Okay. Are they with me? That's all, that's, that's everything guys. Tamp them down early, proactive stops. These dudes are being awesome. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now when do we let the dog smell? They can smell right now, but we gotta let them like smell, smell. As long as they're with me, they can put their heads to the ground. Now I believe the owner said she likes to walk them one on each side. That's not our method, so we gotta do our method, then we'll maybe allow, okay. Then you kinda let them smell, release your arm, give them the cue, give them the leash, or give them more leash. Now they can do whatever they want. Okay, they were released, they can now do whatever they want. They can pee, they can walk, I'll cruise with them. We gave them six foot leash, two foot arm, they have eight feet, 
They cannot pull, however. They can still not pull, but they've been released to do whatever they want. Then when I get them back on the street, I get them both on the same side. The cue, we can put a verbal cue to it, let's go or something, he can, they cannot pull. Even though they've been released to cruise, they still have to understand that a leash is on. Okay, look at this. This is fine. This is all fine. I'm still not gonna let them pull, but we're gonna give them freedom. Okay, they can, they can do a little bit of this. Then I'm gonna get them back and we're gonna start our walk again because you guys don't wanna sit here all day and do this. You guys wanna walk, you wanna get them exercise, but this is good for them too. Okay, when, as soon as this car goes by, we're gonna get, get them back on the walk. You guys know how I feel about verbal cues. They're overused. Come on. TJ. Okay, I'm over it. I said his name, he said no. Okay, now we're gonna get him back on the left. These, they're bulls, they're big. You guys have, they have to know that you, that you're physically strong within criteria. Now, there's no more cruising, there's no more smelling, now we're walking and there's rules to this. More rules than when they were over there. Relax your arm. Okay, the lady, I think, possibly wanted them to walk like this. So we're gonna walk them like this. Leaving me, stop and correct. Leash is about the same di li distance. I'm fine with this. So we're gonna do it both ways for them. Cruising, 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 stop. Little pop. It doesn't hurt them. The whole goal is to let them know that when they leave, there's a consequence. Good. They're with me, they're behind me, in fact. They have never been on this walk together on a normal collar. These guys are great. This is about as good as you can hope for with two dogs, two young dogs. Okay, so that's the video, you guys. This was walking two young dogs on a normal collar, tamping them, tamping them down early in the house. When does your walk start? It starts the minute the leashes go on. Good boy, you're okay. You're okay, you're okay. Yeah. It's your friend. They're not being bad, okay? They are nine months old, so they're inquisitive. I don't want them to really pull, but they... Okay, so they both started that like gnarly double dog pull. Now we have two dogs over here, but they're not being bad. They just started that pull, so I had to hunker down. I'm gonna let them, young dogs, I'm gonna let them sit here and yeah, there's dogs there. There's dogs everywhere. Come on. You don't want to get your dog out of it too much. These dogs need to meet dogs. Come on. Now I'm a little more over it. I let them look. I let them look. And now we need to get them back on our page. Nine months old. What have I said about nine month old? Now they need to walk relatively good. They're all hyped up, their brains all wigged out. Two dogs over there, two Dobermans. That dog over there, she's, this guy's following us. That's boss, the dog. We just need to get through this gauntlet of dogs with them being relatively good, which they are being relatively good. We're not gonna get them to not look at the dog. Hey! We're not going to get him to not look at the dog, but we can get them to walk somewhat good, which they are doing. Okay. Walk somewhat good, which is what they're doing. Their nine month old brains 
right? We're just super overstimulated. They're still looking at the dogs. We're gonna actually go, because you guys like to see the crazy stuff. We're gonna go to this side of the street. I'm gonna manage them the best I can. Now, why am I saying manage? I'm making this video for you guys, by the way. This is not, uh, this is two giant dogs on a normal collar. You guys wanna walk your giant dogs on a normal collar and you, go, you want answers. If you see me struggle because their size, that's what you're going through. Oh, why did I yell? These two guys have fought over food before. Brothers, just weirdness sometimes. Okay, we are not gonna go right there. I'm gonna maybe start a leave it cue. Maybe, maybe, because they're just so focused. That's Boss, that's the uh, dog that Prince played with. You guys saw that video about a month ago? Leave it, Pop. Let's see if that verbal leave it helped, followed by a correction because they didn't leave it. They're on a different side of me, but I'm doing it. Leave it! You can't be like super soft. Like when you, when you give a correction, they have to feel it. Let's see if two leave it's followed by corrections did anything. Leave it! This one looked away a little bit. Nine months old, they're just like tripping. Tripping, their brain is tripping. Look at these guys, I'm just managing. I'm just managing, which is sometimes what you gotta do in life with dogs, with kids, with work. Not everything's perfect. They go through, these dogs are right here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Good, a little fear. We're managing, that's all we're doing. It's enough talking. I gave three leave it's, it's fine. No pulling, pulling is unacceptable. Okay, that was rough. Getting through that. These, are, these guys are beasts. They're big, we're on a normal collar. We had to just get through that. When I let them look at the dogs, I didn't let them pull. If they wanna walk and look, that's fine. There were moments when you could tell they were just like looking, their brains took over, nothing else mattered, and they were just like, I'm going towards that dog. That was unacceptable, but even just giving them a correction, gentle leaders would have been the right thing to do at that point. But many of you don't wanna use it which is fine. You need to see both ways. Good, now their brain's better. That was tough, that's what you guys go through. So now that's the ending. So subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell.